So this activity that we're about to watch is called parallel pair work. It's another way of doing a discussion without the learners sitting passively at the table. It's just get them to stand up in two lines facing each other and then they talk in pairs. Time's up, May. Yes. yes, very good. Awesome, I heard lots of really, really good ideas. So now we're going to share our ideas and then decide on the best one for a class trip. Once you make it clear to your learners what the actual objective of the task is, they'll be more motivated to actually complete it. So we'll choose which one we like the best. So you're going to share your ideas with each other. When you're sharing your ideas, you should ask some questions. So if, if I ask you to go on a hike with me this weekend, what questions would you ask me about the hike? Good, yeah, so you can ask where. Where will we go? What will, what will we bring? What will I bring? What will you bring? What will I bring? So instead of just saying the right answer, what I liked is that she's done a little gap on the board to prompt them to think about what that missing word is. And that's a really nice way for them to self correct, correct themselves, rather than teach just providing all the answers uh, the entire time. That's really, really good. What will you bring? Yeah, which word should we use here? What? Yes, very good. What should we bring? Oh, well, you should bring plenty of water. Again, you should bring them. some really sun good. cream in case it's sunny. And you should bring a poncho in case it rains. You can bring a hiking pole because it's very steep. And again, what she's doing here is in the model answers that she's giving, she's actually saying, I should bring something because yada, yada, yada. And all the reasons that she's giving now is indicating to them uh, in a more subtle way that they should be longer to give reasons behind it, which extends that practice, extends that fluency uh, aspect as well. Yeah, it's very steep. So you should bring a hiking pole. Good, so I want you to ask the, your classmate some questions about the hike. So let's have Helen, Patricia and Fanny. Can you stand up? So this is where she splits the class into half and she's deliberately choosing the person from each pair so that when they stand up, all those three people will be in a line and then the rest of them will be on the other side and then they'll split this way. And stand here in a line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. And then... You can see that they're um, not so used to standing up and communicating, which is quite typical for, for adults, right? But that is why this parallel aspect, that standing up aspect of this activity is so important. It gets the blood pumping, more things are like awake in your mind, and you're, you're more, there's a tendency there to, to activate more language if you're like standing up and sort of replicating a conversation in real life. So this line, you are going to tell them about your hike that you planned. And this line, you are going to ask questions. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, Helen, Fanny and Patricia, what are you going to do? Um, answer. Yes. Answer, answer the, the question. Read the question. Yes, good. Good ICQs from Claire. Always good to check what side of the parallel lines are asking what questions or what they're responding to. Fish, 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 by MTR. Uh, so much. No, no. Oh, Victoria Park by Future by. 
Uh, what's your what will you wear? So you can see, the more they're talking, the more that body movement is coming into play, right? Uh, the, the the woman in the middle on the, on the right-hand side, very, very... Uh, animated, right? She's starting to like say, this is a poncho, got to bring a backpack, that kind of thing. And that uh, moving towards, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what this uh, parallel speaking activity is all about, that, that kinesthetic kind of energy that's flowing. Okay, guys. Uh, so now Fanny, Fanny, can you go to the end? And Helen, come here. And Patricia, come here. Yeah, so change the partner. Right, and, and this is that ease of changing partners that we were talking about before. She only, Claire, only needs to tell one person to move and then the other two to, to shuffle up. Yeah, so this line will ask the questions. Okay, okay. okay two minutes again. Uh, comfortable uh, clothes, uh, sports shoes, some people will get there. Uh, uh, let I will buy the MTR. And you can also see that these students are still quite engaged with each other, even with this second round of partners coming up, right? Because even though, perhaps yes, they're using the, the same kind of questions, the responses uh, that they're getting from the other person, they won't always be exactly the same, right? Uh, and they'll have to actively listen to their new partner in order to, to process that information and to ask an appropriate follow-up question afterwards as well. <laughs> okay, well done, everyone. Everyone can sit down. <laughs> they're reluctant to stop, it seems. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, everyone. I, I heard a lot of really, really good ideas. So there were three places. Uh, what were the three places you chose? So this activity is really good for any kind of language that you want the learners to practice in a, in a communicative kind of way because they're talking to each other in pairs. And it's also really good for low levels because of that repetitive aspect as well, the changing of the partners. It's what we would call a stirrer activity because it sort of gets the energies uh, up in the classroom. And you can see from the beginning of the video, the learners were sat down fairly passive, even if they were talking to each other, right? Get them to stand up, getting that blood moving, it encourages them to, to, to say a lot more, right? If you've already got kids in the classroom and they're already sort of quite high on energy, it might not be the best idea uh, to engage them even further, we can say. Because it's like stirring a <laughs> cup of water or something, isn't it? Like stirring a yeah, getting, uh, getting that energy up. 